Welcome to our video that will show you how to set up and carry out the GCSE required practical for temperature change to investigate the variables that affect temperature change in chemical reactions. They will look at the reaction between hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide, measuring the change in temperature and then plotting a graph of their results. For this experiment we'll be using the following equipment safety goggles and the appropriate Kleeps Hascarts, insulated cups with a lid, a glass beaker, thermometers, measuring cylinders, hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. Stand the insulated cup in the 250 milliliter beaker. Carefully measure 30 milliliters of hydrochloric acid into the measuring cylinder. Then pour into the insulated cup. Place the lid on top of the cup. The lid should have a hole in it to accommodate the thermometer. The measuring cylinder should be thoroughly rinsed. Using the thermometer, measure the starting temperature of the acid and record this in a suitable table. Carefully measure five milliliters of sodium hydroxide into the measuring cylinder. Pour this into the cup and replace the lid and stir with the thermometer. Watch the thermometer and watch how the temperature changes with the addition of the sodium hydroxide. Record the value in the table. Carefully measure another five milliliters of sodium hydroxide into the measuring cylinder and add this to the beaker. Replace the lid, stir with the thermometer and note the reading on the thermometer once the temperature has stabilized. Repeat this process until a maximum of 40 milliliters has been added to the beaker. Students should then wash all the equipment and repeat the experiment. They can then calculate the mean temperature values for each addition of sodium hydroxide. Students can then produce a graph using their results, similar to the one shown. We hope you found this practical advice useful. For expert technical support, please contact the Philip Harris technical team at tech support at philipharris.co.uk or visit our blog at philipharris.co.uk forward slash blog.